Hello. It's me. Um, in my baby kitten chair. That's what programming does. But anyway. Um, that's called programming, guys. Um, what you want to do is program yourself with the Word of God. And that's the journey that I would like to invite you on. I've read the Bible a few times. Um, I'm sure you've read the Bible maybe once or twice. Um, <clears throat> what I would like to do is share share our Christian bond with um, going through the Bible because we're we're actually ambassadors for Christ. That's what we are. We are on this earth to um, further God's kingdom that's um, helping the unrepented become repented, um, rightly knowing the word of truth, and so that uh, we, we can teach the people that need to be taught the right way to repentance and... Uh, it's just we we're, we're here to enhance the kingdom of God. We're here we're here to further the kingdom of God. That's what we're here for. Um, he he preordained the stuff that we're supposed to do. I mean he he has it up there. He's just waiting for us to use it. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of Christians that are saved already. There's a lot of Christians that are saved, but what we don't know is that we have the power. Um, Dominion was given to Adam on this earth, okay? Uh, Cain went out from the presence of the Lord. That's where you get all the builders from. That's that's where you get um, Cain. Cain. Uh, I can't get into all that on this one. But, I mean, there's spiritual wickedness in high places. There's Christians and then there's non-Christians. Okay, that's that's the way it is. All right. The only thing, the thing, we're not just warring against fallen angels and demons. There's witches, there's warlocks, there's occultists. These are people with high positions in like uh, government and stuff like that. <coughs> and when they see us all over Facebook and YouTube exposing this stuff, You'll see a lot of people kind of just die off. They just die off and they don't come back. It's because they're being spiritually attacked without knowing how to use the... When you're exposing the works of darkness, you need to know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to be in a lot of trouble because there's... There's a spiritual aspect to all of this, guys. Um, everything that is manifested in this, this physical world is manifested first in the spiritual world, okay? Um, it's something that you got to know. You got to understand that, all right? Um, people are being attacked for, you know, like exposing Pizzagate or, you know, people... I mean, it's gotten so big right now. That's probably one of their agendas anyway, was to get, like, the low-level Christians that don't really know what they're doing, and they're like, oh, my God, this is a bunch of pedophiles running the country. You know, and then that's that just puts out a huge target because it's all over Facebook, it's all over YouTube. They run the internet. I mean, guys, they're gonna be attacking you. They're gonna be attacking all of us. We need to have the breastplate of righteousness on, breastplate of righteousness on, the helmet of salvation. We gotta have our shoes fit for the preparation of the gospel. We have to have on the belt, guys. That's the belt of truth. We can't be walking around out here exposing these people with our pants down. This is spiritual armor, guys. You notice that? It's not something we just... It's it's real. It's there. Okay? I mean... <coughs> tongues. Alright? Tongues. Praying in tongues may sound crazy for a little bit of people. When I first became a Christian, I was like, what? I gotta pray in tongues? You know, I just got done explaining about tongues for Christmas because it's a spiritual gift. 
but I don't think anybody would really understand if I didn't give you a minute give them an example so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pray in tongues and it's not gonna be for it's gonna be me communicating with God it's gonna be me edifying myself what who doesn't want to be edified who doesn't want to be edified the Bible says that it's edification for yourself who doesn't want to be edified be, by God to uh, understand better the spiritual realm that's what it is it's spiritual prayer guys okay you need to understand these things you need to read your Bible if you're gonna be exposed and stuff you need to read your Bible because they're gonna come after you they're not playing around anymore guys neither should we after all the things that have been down that went down the riots the all of it man all of it all this stuff don't know who's who you don't know who's the good guy to the russians the america trump hillary nobody nobody it's spiritual guys the beast that rises is spiritual the spiritual beast all right that's why we need to learn how to war guys it's getting to the point to where we we need to figure this stuff out so i'm gonna give you an example Koro shiara marikira sore shiara hero. That's 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 praying in the spirit, and it may sound weird and look weird to carnal eyes, but guess what? It's spiritual prayer. We're not supposed to know what we're saying unless there's an interpreter, which you have to have faith for that as well, guys. You have to have faith, otherwise you're not a Christian. It's just that simple. I mean, the Bible specifically says that there's tongues, and you can pray in tongues, and it's for your edification, and you can use it by faith, all right? That's how it's going to skyrocket your faith, all right? It's going to show you things. It's going to, it's you praying exactly to God, and it's your spirit communicating with God into your, into your body, and it's going to show you how the world, it's going to, it's going to kind of pull a cover over the world, and you're going to be able to see better. You're going to be able to God's going to show you things. He's going to show you different things. He's going to show you how to approach different things. I mean, this is from my experience from paying in tongues. It really does edify you. It's real, okay? But here's the thing. This is why I got on here. We need to re we need to re go through the Bible. We need to re go through the re go through the Bible. It's a spiritual book. You need to understand that it's a spiritual book, okay? You need to go in there because when you do start praying in tongues, you're going to, spirits are going to manifest. I mean, you're going to notice things. Things are going to happen. I mean, I've seen things, guys. I've seen things. People have seen things. I mean, things are going to happen to you when you, when you start walking in the spirit, okay? And, well, you, you walk in the spirit by faith, but... You build your spirit man up by praying in tongues, okay? And things are going to start revealing themselves to you because they notice they're get, you're getting bigger. People are going to say, you're going to start hearing things like, I don't want you to do that. Stuff like that. You might even be hearing it in church when you're doing it, you know? I mean, I'm telling you right now, guys. I mean, I'm not afraid of putting this out there. <laughs> this needs to be known. <laughs> Satan's scared off his butt right now. I can guarantee it guarantee it but here's the thing we need to be praying in tongues and we need to be going through the bible and looking at the spiritual weapons we have yes the bible the word of god is 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 the sword of the spirit but it doesn't stop there there's there's more than one aspect to that sword there's you got you got the double edges you got the point of the sword you got the hilt you got I mean, it's, it's, it's deep, guys. It's a really deep book. And uh, the weapons that he uses in there, and you can use all of these in the name of Jesus Christ if you feel like you're being attacked by something spiritual. And you can also pull out Bible verses. It's, it's the Word of God, guys. That's our sword. You can use Bible verses. Psalms is a great place to go. The actual words of Jesus is a great place to go. 
Um, this is deliverance, guys. It's 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 deliverance is what it is because things are going to be coming upon you when you start exposing these things, and this needs to be out there. This needs to go out there because it needs it needs to hit home because there's a lot of people out there exposing stuff that they don't even really know what they're doing. They have no idea. They're just saying, oh, they did this, and then the next thing you know, they got like several views. As soon as some witch sees that, like Hillary, like a little posse or something. They're going to be doing something about it. They're going to be coming after you. I guarantee it, guys. These witches and warlocks are a lot... They, I mean, they know what they're doing when it comes to spiritual stuff, all right? They have sided with Satan to, you know, be the city. Be the, you know, the ones up there. Up, 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 up on there. On, on the earth. The, the builders, guys. They're the builders. The ones that the builders rejected. Okay? There's lightning, there's, there's, there's portals, there's Holy Spirit fire, um, there's, there's so much stuff, guys. There's chains, there's angels, there's ministering spirits. We all have ministering spirits that minister to us. Up, up and down, up and down. We have ministering spirits that we can use also to engage, help us engage in our warfare. All right? It's really important that you guys go through, we go through the Bible and look at all, all all the all the weapons that the prophets used um not only that but I mean you can look at the stuff that like the word for instance I went through a long time ago and I was like oh my god the word is actually a frequency and sound actually heals stuff and you know I was like it's it's all right there guys it's all right there for you to read and to look at and um I really don't want, I don't think it's a really good idea for anybody to be preaching without reading the Bible. I don't, but I'm not going to get into that. I mean, guys, we need to build ourselves up in the church of Christ and advance God's kingdom here on this earth, because that's what we're here for. We're not here to, to, to be saved and then just go off and, you know, just do whatever, you know. It's not how it, I mean, it, 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 that's not how it's supposed to be. We are supposed to advance God's kingdom. That's why we're here. We need to be building ourselves up in the church. We need to be comforting each other. We need to be guiding others that don't necessarily know what they're doing down a, down a right path, you know? Um, there's a lot of things out there that, 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 that are going to hurt people. And uh, we're supposed to be the people that take care of them. And by our taking care of them, that's how they understand that Jesus Christ is, is Lord. He's the one who heals. He's the one who casts out the darkness. That's our job, guys. Our job is to be casting out this darkness, the darkness of this world. Um, I don't really know if there's anything else I want to say, but, I mean, that was really on the tip of my heart. Um, because there's there's things out here that, you know, you know why they have the vow of secrecy in the Illuminati? The shh, or even the shh, or whatever they want to call that crap. It's all stupid to me. But they, they, they keep it silent because... Um, they know the power of God, and they know that if we knew half the stuff, if, if, if Christians, if the majority of Christians knew half the stuff that they knew that they were doing, we'd be on them like flies on poop, guys, because we would realize we have that power even stronger, you know? And it's not having to cut deep into our middle finger and suck the pain out or anything like that. Abramovich crap. It's nothing like that. It's love. It's peace. It's edifying. And we we need to go re go through the Bible and check out our weapons and check out our armor and see where it's really at, guys. Because this world is no joke. It's real. And the things that are going down right now. Christians need to be stepping up and helping out, uh, helping out other Christians. So that's what needs to happen. And God bless, guys. I hope somebody's blessed by this. I hope.
people that are um, out here just exposing things and stuff like that are grounded in the word and uh, they have on their armor and they know how to use the use their swords and their weapons that they've been given all right um, if you don't feel like you can heal people you can you really can you can you can heal people do you believe that Jesus was brought back from the dead do you believe that Jesus healed others because he said we're going to be able to do the same, same things even more so guys come on it's time it's time to light a fire and keep that thing burning you know what I'm saying I hope you guys are God blessed in Jesus name I pray for you all that you will be uh, advancing the kingdom here shortly Cause I know some people do but some people really don't guys some people you know they just say the Christians and just run around and say amen and this and just go to church and then they go to the bar and play darts or whatever you know I mean that that's that that's a, that's a carnal Christian, guys. There's there is such thing as a carnal Christian. I mean, they believe that Jesus Jesus is the Christ, but when a warlock comes along and he's like, "Hey, you know what? Um, I'm gonna get you to do this and I'm gonna get you to do that," and then that person slowly begins to falter. He he begins to slide away. Like there's there's a point in a Christian's life where he is saved, but there's a point where you're still in the beginning phase of learning what you are and who you are in Jesus Christ. That's where you need to be at. We need to get you there. Everybody needs to get there. You need to be firm. You need to stand there for 